I don't know about you, but I'm ready to say goodbye to 2021. And we've got the perfect live picks to help ease you into the new year. From K-pop group on and off to the M1 Singapore Fringe Festival, we're thrilled to excite you about 2022. But first, let's quench our thirst with food correspondent Eunice Quack. Hey Eunice, Eunice, you've been checking out a new cafe called Gorilla Coffee. Tell us about the interesting brews there. So there are two of them. One, uh, one of them is called um, Home. It is a take on the local kopi with um, the addition of condensed milk and um, interesting ingredients like cracked black pepper and salt. Um, the other one is Mayan Mocha. It is a mix of chili syrup, dark chocolate, cinnamon and espresso. Um, I know it sounds an intriguing combination, but it works and the balance of flavours um, is just right. So um, the cafe at Suntec City, it has um, the usual cafe uh, coffee options, um, but the ones that I mentioned definitely worth trying. Well, looks like I have my New Year plans sorted out and I think I know where I will be. Well, thank you so much, food correspondent Eunice Quag. Now, if you're looking for something new to listen to this new year, look no further. Correspondent Benson Ang is here to tell us all about K-pop band ONF, which is short for On and Off. Well, Benson, tell us more about this band and what do you make of their music? Uh, On and Off is a South Korean boy band which debuted in 2017 and it currently has uh, six members. It released its newest EP um, earlier this month titled Goosebumps. I think this song uses a very interesting metaphor to you know, discuss some of the sensations and feelings associated with romantic attraction. Uh, it uses the reflex of getting goosebumps like when one is excited or scared Hold, and to uses this to discuss some of the darker instincts associated with romantic love. I thought it's quite interesting. Um, so in, in this song, it seems like love is not just about excitement, it's also about nervousness and a bit of uncertainty. And if you look at the music video, it's very mysterious, very futuristic. Uh, lots of greens, lots of blacks. Um, I like that there are, there's a mist surrounding some of the members as they dance around and it's, the video is very atmospheric. And that was correspondent Benson Ang. Finally, we have journalist To Wen Li. Now, she's going to be telling us about the M1 Singapore Fringe Festival happening from January 12th to 23rd. Sounds exciting, Wen Li, because I know the theme is going to be the helpers. Tell us more about the lineup. Yeah, so the themes to help us centered around ideas of care, compassion towards oneself and others. The shows are selling quite fast and there are two which I'm quite excited about. One of them is um, this show called Rindu di Bulan, which kind of combines the Chinese myth of Chang'e with um, a Malay adoption story. So these two threads are intertwined in, in this particular production. Um, another one is Being by Way Collective which is a um, very movement-based um, one-man show by um, Neo Hai Bin, um, um, or rather starring Neo Hai Bin, um, presented by Wei Collective and collaborators. And uh, we see this man dive into the sea, he gets close with nature, and somehow in this production, um, they explore the idea of breath and being, this idea of reconnecting with your breath. So I think in, in a time of, um, um, of, of a pandemic and, um, you know, in today's modern hectic society, it's 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 a particularly timely work, getting us to retreat um, back into um, the things that matter. Thank you so much, journalist To Wen Li. And don't forget, from music and entertainment to food and the arts, you can find more live picks as well as the latest news at sdr.sg forward slash live.